Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the new immersive view option in Zoom. I wrote about this the other day and I thought I'd make a little follow-up video. If you want to read about it, click the link right down below where you can read what I wrote about it. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm in my Zoom account. Now I'm using a personal Zoom account. If you're using a school issued Zoom account or a corporate issued Zoom account, you're going to need someone in your IT department to enable this feature for you. But if you're in a personal account, let's go ahead and go to the settings. And we're gonna scroll down to our settings in the meeting. We're gonna go down to our in meeting advanced. And down here, under our advanced, if we keep scrolling down, we're going to see under virtual background, we then have video filters and immersive view. And so I have that option now turned on. Now that I have it turned on, when I launch my Zoom meeting, I'll see a new window in my Zoom meeting where I can enter immersive view. And I'll show you what that looks like next. All right, so now I am here in my Zoom meeting. And as I hover over the screen in the upper right-hand corner, we have this new view button. And when I click on that, we'll see immersive scene as a new option. Now it's important to note, you have to be using the latest version of the Windows or Mac Zoom application on your desktop in order to see that option appear that immersive scene and then you can pick the scene that you want to choose you could do this five person art gallery you can do a 25 person auditorium you can do this two person fireside chat you can even use your own video as the immersive view if you like you can even go here and add a custom background that you then upload and use as the immersive view scene I'm gonna stick with the default five person art gallery one here and we'll place participants into the scene automatically. And unless you really wanted to manually place your students in these frames, I would just use the automatic option. Click that start button. And there we are now in the immersive scene. And when people join, they'll be automatically added into one of these other frames here. So that's how you can use the new immersive view in Zoom. I think it's a nice way to break out of the same old, same old that we've gotten used to in Zoom. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.